All right, here we go. I was having many problems with this. I was trying to take it off the normal way using a hammer. Had this hammer, banging it, it didn't work. To uh, bring it on here, and then using the hammer to bang it, still didn't work. And then I use these two right here. This one and this one, big one, this one, and I put them behind, and it was still, so the last resort, the last resort I'd use next is this right here. This is what I used. This baby right here. It has this trigger housing. Opened it up. You can hear it. Click on it. And then heated it up for like five minutes, ten minutes. And then once it's heated up, turn it off. And then continue with the banging all that. And finally, it happened. It got loose. So right now, it's loose. Because there was something in here that was making a noise. And it was making a rattling noise. But I, now we find it. There you go. See, something just fell. A piece just fell. Let's take this off and see. Yeah, man. <laughs> and there you go. That's what came off. That's what was loose. Look at that. So that was that, the spring came off. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. Yep, it's damaged. So I got to get a new one. Look at that. supposed to go like that. but now it don't even fit <laughs> so yeah this was inside the drum making that rattling noise as I was driving wondering what the hell and this is what happens I bought this truck in 2017 perfect everything was perfect the rear brakes all that and now we're in 2022 oh yeah all that's got to be cleaned off okay there's no, it doesn't look like it has much leakage it's not really leaking because I don't have no no Low brake fluid on it. There it is. Oh wow! Look at this. That's with that. That don't even belong there. Look at that. That don't even belong there. Let me bring you back some more. That doesn't even belong there. It's supposed to be up here somewhere. <laughs> Look where it's at. It fell down. This whole thing fell down. As you can see, it's not there. Is there another spring? Here are the springs, so they're there. The springs are holding it, so they're, there. they're right there. Because I don't see it. No, this one doesn't have the yell. Uh, it just has this one. Okay, let me take this out. This is crazy, look at that. Okay, there it is. <laughs> okay, it's still one piece. Just gonna brush it off, keep the, take the rust off it. Look at that, there's a spring there. Where'd that spring come from? We'll find out. But yeah, here's the other spring, right there. Let me back again. God, I don't know. Scissor lift. All right, big help here. And I have it at a height where I could easily look at it. Because I went from behind. Here you go. Let me show you from behind. Let me show you from behind. And um, right here, when I was going with the with the tool, with the little with the little one, smallest one I had. Going in there, something was loose in there. So I knew something broke off. So when I was turning it, it didn't really help. So, started with the, uh, disassembling it from the drum point. And look at that. Look at that. Metal to metal. Metal to metal. No more shoes on this baby. Nope, just metal to metal. So finally, with heat, you have to use heat. It's right here. I heated this area right here. That's what it was sticking to right here. All of that. So yeah, you have to use heat to heat up. So this could separate from here. That's from right here. See, all that was was rusted on. So it was connected to that. And I couldn't even take it out. I do have the tools to get that out. And the one for this one, it's gone. That's what it was. That round one. Yep, it was for that. It broke off. Wow. Look at that. Right here, that first spring. Right there, got it. Try it again. Got it up there.
hook it up here. There you go, got the hook. There you go, got it off. Cut that one off. There you got it off. Right there. Hmm. We can do it from this part right here. There. Got it. Oh yeah, this helps. This comes off. Alright, that goes right there. Hooks that up alright. There you go. Wow. This is all gone. This is gone forever. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. No shoe at all. It's just metal. Alright. Oh look. From the pocket brake. That broke off. So good thing I bought a new kit for that. It's gone. That's gone. Now. Look at that. That's how bad that looks. Look at that. And the other side too. Did the best I could to clean up in there. As you can see how that looks. Cleaned up all up in there. Then on the other side too. All cleaned up in there. Just wiped it down with a dry cloth. And that's it now. Start putting everything back together again. Put everything back. Finally took it off. This was like welded stuck. This piece right here to this, it was welded and the rust. So I had to take this tool right here and I was playing with it, trying to get it out, trying to get it looser and all. Get that right here and it finally came out. There it is. It's all bent up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bent it back into shape. As you can see how it looks, I'm gonna bend it back into shape. And then taking this off, it was still stuck. So I took the um, this baby right here, turned it on. Let me just give you a little demonstration. And right there, you started heating it up, heating it up, heating it up. And then once I did that, finally started bending and bending it, and, it, and it started getting loose. And then it came off. So yeah, with heat, this came off. It was like welded to this piece, rusted on. So I took it off finally. And now I'll just take a wire brush and just start. It's a little hot, but it's cooling down now. So I just do it like this. I just try to get most of the rust off of it so it'll be alright. And here's the uh the rear brake shoe. And this goes Right in that big hole right there. And that's it. So I'll put that other piece right here. Take some pliers and just straighten that out and just put it right back in there. And this is what I use to bend it back in shape. There it is in there. Right inside there. I use the vice grip. And then I just let me see how to do it. And I loosen it up. There it is. See? It's straight. All right. Can I put this one on? Goes in that way. Let's go like that. So it's got to go in this way. 
All right, this is how I got this one on. Take it from here and bend it back like that. See that gap right there? You take the hook right here, stick it right in there. And let me do it right now. Right there, put it right in there, squeeze it in there. There it is, it's going in. Done. There it is, it's in. That's it. And it goes like that. All right, there it is, finally got it on. Look at it. Took a while, but got it on. As you can see, it's turning. No problem, it's right up there, just like that. Oh boy, guess what I just realized. I bought the kit, right? The horseshoe thing. And the kit came with one. <laughs> so, I'm going to take that one off and put this one on. Alright, here we go. All that. Well, at least you know, if you don't have the kit, and if you're just going to use the old part, that's what happens. You can still use the old part. But, yeah, I'm going to put the new one in. All right, here I go, taking it off, the old shoe off. There, came right off. All right, put the new one on. Yeah, it's going in. Pushing it down. There, as you can see, give you a close up of it. There it is, see? Seated all the way in there. Man. That's decent. Oh yeah. It's not coming out. And this is what I'm using to help me out. This guy, he can help me out. So. Got a clamp holding the shoe. So now I got two hands free. And let's see if this works. I got this one in here already. Put ah, that in there. And then I put this one first, and I had the new piece on it, but I still got the old spring. Because the old spring, this new spring, oh yes, yeah, it's, it's, the old springs are still good, but this spring here was giving me trouble. Too strong for me, I couldn't, I couldn't put it in the way I wanted to. And on this side, same thing. It's the old spring and an old top piece for it, so I put that back on it. This was giving me the longest. That was the longest right there that was giving me trouble. That was no problem. That was the one, the one that was giving me trouble the longest. So what I had to do, I had to disconnect this piece right here, so that way I could easily put this on, put that on, and then I put this back. I took some vice grips and clamped it on and put it on first, and then this came on second, and then hooked it on. That round thing for the parking brake right here, this went in first, as you can see. That's first, this is second, and that's third I put on. And this was no problem right here putting this on the new piece around for this for, for, for the wire to go around and under. Let me see if I give you some light. That one right there did that right, no problem. So that's how that looks. Now finally I'm gonna put the drum on and go from there. Alright. One more cleanup. Oh 
that up. Put this on. Just in, from here. There you go. That's it. That's it. It's tied up for me. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. It's really tight in here. And that's it. All right, that's what I did. anti seize the whole surface here. Did it with just regular anti seize lubricant. That's what I use to do all this right here, right here. Put it all around. So the next time I gotta get back here again, I don't have to worry about. I'm put the brake drum back on. Man, right here. You can see. Okay. Let me bring it out a little bit more. Just a tad bit more, and let's see how this does. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tight. There you go. Done. Messing with it no more. That's good. All right, that one's done. All right, let me give you a visual. Perfect for me. I'm happy with it. That's all you need right here to take that drum off. Bang it out. Let's bang it out. Bang it out. Okay, this one has some padding left. This wasn't bad. That was almost gone on this side, as you can see. So this one has some padding left, and that's still there. All right, bring it back. Yep. All right. Finally. Oh yeah, because on the other video, I didn't have this piece on. So I had to take the whole thing off and put that piece back on. And there it is right there for the parking brake. Forgot that piece. So that's what happened. So finally, this is all set. Let me put on the drum. Hmm. It's too far out. So 
Gotta bring this in. Bring it in. From here. Man, it's in. It's in. Now I just gotta turn this. It's gonna go in. There you go. It's going in. With a rubber hammer. A rubber hammer. Rubber hammer. There it is. Here we go. It's turning. Oh yeah. That was done. Now we gotta do the other side. Alright, let me show you this. I'm just taking it off, disassemb disassembling it. Now look at this right here. Let's pull the parking brake, that middle piece right there. There's no spring on it on the other side. As you can see. Now when I take this off, now watch this. When I take it off. Whoever did this before, as you can see, he's on backwards. Get this out the way. See how it was? They put it right in here like that, with no spring. In reality, it's supposed to go this way. This is supposed to go in here with the spring, with that red spring on this side. And then on the other side, it's supposed to go in here like that. But they had this one in backwards. Ain't that something? So if it did this, didn't know how to put this one back the right way and forgot to put that spring in there. All right, this is what I've done so far. That was hard, so I put that in first on both sides. The rest will be easy because I could just move this, put it in there, everything else. So this is how it looks right now. Did that right there, the horseshoe thing. It's in there. All right, so let's continue. This one is going to be the, the driver's side. That's the part number. driver's side all right I put this in next and then put this in and that's in there first this first thing goes in there and then the springs all right all right here it is and this goes see these indentations right here there's two indentations right there that's for the spring to go in like that so you know that's for the spring and this side is gonna go with you for the parking brake elbow where it's supposed to go. So it's supposed to go this way. When I took it off, it was this way. Put it in the right way now. Being that this is the strongest tension, this went in first. And yes, this helps put it in there. So now I'm gonna do this piece right here. It goes right over here. And with this one. It goes in here like that. Go. There, it's in. There. Yep. And that's how it looks right now. All right. We'll go around. Round from there and down here. It's round all the way around. Got that, got that in there, got that one in there. It's all the way around on this side. Look how even and round it is. So, see so how we fit the drum. That's in there. And cable around there. There you go. It's all done. And that piece in there. See, what I'm saying. see it's right there. There it is. 
it's right there and there it is a spring that's how it looks see with the red this one spring is right there and right there is hooked up on that side that whole that the whole stays free as you can see how that looks right there all the way across all right Let me go and uh, put the drum in now. Everything's already hooked up. Tension is right there. This is all the way in. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. Little play. Come on, let me just extend this out a little. A little extended out. Try again. Okay. Pulls in freely. Extend it out some more. Pull this out and turn. Okay. Put it back in. Okay, I'm getting some drag. Some drag. A little more. Bit. Put it back in. There you go. This. Nope. Yep. That's tight enough for me. I'm happy with that. And this is how she stays. So, perfect. 